guys, welcome back to Spud Run Golf. We got hooked up with some cool equipment. Let's go, it's story time. Yes, Virginia, there still is a Santa Claus. And my Santa Claus came from Cincinnati in a big Dodge truck, pulling equipment. Billy, you're my new Santa Claus buddy, appreciate you. Today's episode, it's a feel good story. It's about how one guy, myself, started on YouTube, started documenting his journey on his backyard golf hole, and people started to feel his passion and share with him not only ideas, techniques, but equipment. Billy came up, gave us some equipment to help Spud Run Golf out because he shared my same passion. And that's what today's episode's all about. It's about showing you that day and showing you why Billy got us equipment. And we'll go over the equipment too. Spud Run, let's go. <laughs> Bill and Sean, them guys, grass fanatics. So they're down in Cincinnati, sports fields, baseball fields, soccer fields, football fields. They are the real deal. It was just really enjoyable to talk to them about grass because they know way more than I know. And it's anytime you can get in company with people that's way more knowledgeable and something you're passionate about, it's enjoyable. It was really enjoyable talking with those guys and just and then listening to the, the, the level of knowledge that they have for grass. So it looks like we got a real master 6500D. That sounds cool as hell. <laughs> Guys, I can't tell you much about it. I do know we're gonna get all this equipment. We're gonna power wash it today. We're gonna clean it up, grease it. We're gonna do the things that I feel comfortable doing. Obviously, you already see me mow with this real master. The aerator and the top dresser, you won't see it in action for a couple more weeks. There are a few little tweaks that we need to make on those. We're gonna try to address those and get those fixed. Nothing, nothing, everything starts, everything runs. It's just some few small things that needs addressed. So we're gonna get things all power washed up, get them cleaned, and get it going. A few things we need to say about our new buddy, Billy. So Billy's down in Cincinnati area. He used to actually play in the Atlanta Braves organization. Got into lawn care shortly after that. And a few years ago, he sold out and wanted to follow something more passionate, something he's more passionate about. And he runs, he's actually revitalized and bringing back to life a baseball diamond complex down in the Cincinnati area called Prospect Fields. So Billy has taken this, this baseball diamond to a whole new level and he's got cool things happen. And, and I'll let him tell you here more about himself, but he's he was just passionate about what we was doing. He just like, that guy's not too far away, a couple hours away. 
he's seen the passion I had and he's got that same passion. He had some equipment that he was just willing, basically in the words of himself, the home of that equipment belonged here where it was better needed. So Billy, big thanks to you for that. I wish you success. And if you're down in the Cincinnati area and you can help Billy out at Prospect Fields, please do so. And let's talk about Sean as buddy. So Sean has a company that that's what they do for a living. They've got state-of-the-art equipment that they go in and, and rework and maintain baseball fields, football fields, soccer fields, any athletic type fields. That's what Sean's company does. Now Sean's Billy's buddy. They brought Sean's truck up and trailer to haul this equipment up here. So I can't thank these two enough. Two great dudes. Another reason why YouTube's so cool is I'm meeting so many people from all over, but it's one common theme is they see my passion, they share that passion, and then we share a friendship. So guys, let's go to Billy uh, here on the first tee. He wanted to say a couple of things, and take it from here, Billy. All right, you ready? You ready? Let's get it. Spud Run Golf here with Billy. He brought us up some cool, cool equipment. We made a stripe show here today. Billy, I mean, what? Why'd you Why'd you do this? Why'd you bring us up for us? Uh, I've been self-employed for a few years, and over the years, with what's going on with the economy and stuff like that, and you can't find workers, I had to really find myself what I wanted to do the rest of my life. And my passion's always been grass. Um, I coach at a local high school, and being around the kids, I have. To me, I think a little gift that I can help out in the community. So we sold our business and I took over a baseball complex. I have found my purpose in life. And with that purpose over the years, we have bought equipment, big toys equipment, that we no longer need. So I found your channel and I thought, this is a guy with a passion like we have that we like to help out and make his property, his place, and a durable place for everybody else also. That's so awesome. What a beautiful place it is here. So, first time come to, to Spud Run, was there anything that caught you off guard as far as the size, the anything? Everything was above my expectations. The man cave, I, I like the man cave. He's like the man the, cave. The man cave. You don't want to leave now. No, no, I don't want to leave. <laughs> well, Billy, we really appreciate it. We're going to definitely put this equipment to use. Uh, and I, I can't wait to get back on that Toro and we're going to do a double cut, a stripe show we call it. I'd like to uh, also thank a friend of mine, uh, Sean, who drove up here with us and uh, brought the equipment up to help help you out. And I can't thank him enough. And uh, guys, this, this place is it's nice. It's a nice place. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Billy. Thank you, Sean. Thanks for watching. Thanks for playing with us. Spud Run Golf, over and out.